Michael, your third Ashes tour, can you tell us about the squad going over there this time? Yeah, look, I think we have a, a really good squad of, I guess, a good mix of youth and experience, um, which I've said for a long time is uh, is the good basis of a strong team. Uh, I think we've got players that have played a lot of cricket in, in English conditions, and we've got some youngsters that haven't played too much there, so it's really exciting. Can you tell us uh, what you were doing when you got the phone call? <laughs> you know, don't you? <laughs> I had to hang up, actually. I was uh, bathing with two kids, so... I quickly texted John back and said, I'll get back to you in 20 minutes. It was, uh, it was bathed in a bedtime and you can't get in, in, out, away of that with three kids. You were there in 2009. What did you take away from that series? Yeah, it was obviously a good experience, good learning curve about the conditions and how to go about business over there. But disappointing end of the result. And um, yeah, and obviously losing at home as well. So two Ashes series losses as an Australian player. It's not, not a good record to have. So it's uh, something I want to turn around this series. Can you tell us some of the Ashes memories you've got from growing up? Uh, obviously, the the, 80, the 1989 one was you know a big one that I can obviously didn't watch it, but I can remember you know my parents and stuff talking about it how much we, we were underdogs in that series and going over there and winning, which is uh, that's probably you know one series that pops out at me. You're on the A tour as well. How important will that be for the Ashes? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's going to be really important for me, especially coming back from injury, um, sort of on a pretty tight sort of schedule on my rehab and stuff like that. So um, it's yeah, it's definitely going to get be good for me to get a bit of bowling under my belt before you know, hopefully that first test or those two practice games before the Ashes. So I'll be using that more to to get a few bit of numbers under my belt in terms of bowling workloads and stuff. So yeah, hopefully you know I'll be 100% fit when the A tour starts. An Ashes series is the, is the pinnacle, I think. Um, the rivalry that between the two teams is, is fantastic. And obviously the rivalry with my family that I've had over, over a number of years with my brother playing the test match for them is um, you know, something that, that's pretty special for the family as well. Um, and again, it's the Ashes, so it's, it's everything. As, as a kid watching growing up, you're always watching the Ashes and, and striving to win, and it'll be no different this time. What have you learned on your tours over to England, and what's it going to take to win over there? What I've learned is it's the most exciting and, and the best tour you'll be part of as an Australian cricketer. Um, the theatre around the whole campaign is enormous um, and, and the cricket's the best cricket you'll ever play. You've been out there two times before. What's it going to take to get the earn back this time? Uh, all 16 players, I guess. Um, you know, it's a tough tour, there's no doubt about it. England's got a lot of experience. They love playing in their own backyard and it's a major series. It's the biggest series for an Australian cricketer. So uh, I think it's about, you know, all 16 players plus support staff working their backside off from now. We've got good preparation time. Um, and as long as you're doing all the work, that's all you can do. But I'm confident, like I said, if we can perform at our best, I'm confident we can win the Ashes back.